we are ready to estimate quotients using multiples. You just had multiples on your show what you know page. So hopefully you'll be more familiar with it after we're finished today. Let's read our problem. The bakery made 110 pumpkin muffins. They will be packed in boxes with eight muffins in each box. About how many boxes will there be? Now, did you notice that it has the word about in it? Okay, so we need to make sure we understand it is an estimate. So, here's your question. About how many boxes will there be? Then I'm going to be using what numbers here? Cheyenne? Okay, Dan? And then eight. So we are going to use multiples to estimate, and if you did not remember from a few minutes ago, a multiple of a number is the product of a number and a counting number. So that means you're going to be doing some multiplication here to help you with multiples or division. So one, two, three, four, and so on are counting numbers. Here's your problem. 110 from your pumpkin muffins divided by eight. It says to think what number multiplied by eight is about 110. Now, do you remember I talked to you about using the inverse and turning this around into a multiplication problem? That's what they're doing here with the thing. It says, what number multiplied by 8 is about 110? So that's what you're thinking right now. Okay? You're thinking. Then it says, list the multiples of 8 until you reach 110 or greater. So look what they did for you. Here's your counting numbers on the top. Your multiples of 8 will be on the bottom. Okay? Everybody following? Mm -hmm. So we know that 8 times 1 is 8, so it's there. 2 times 8 is 3 times 8 is 24. 4 times 8 32. Now we have to fill in 5 times 8 40. So you're going to write it there in that place on the box. So 40 goes here. 6 times 8 48. They wrote in 7 times 8 is 56. And 8 times 8 is 64. All right, then we have some work to do. 9 times 8? 72. 72. 10 times 8? 80. And 11 times 8? 88. Now they keep going, guys. 12 times 8? 96. 96. Why are we continuing to go? But what is the number we're trying to get closer to? 110. So since we have not gotten there, we have to keep going. So 13 times 8. If you don't know this in your mind, what are you going to do? Write it over here if you need to. And then do the math. What am I going to get, Morgan? 104. Since they were still not there at 104, they did the last one of 14 times 8 is... 112. So now that we have reached 110, we can stop. So now it says to find the multiples of 8 that 110 is between. So look at the 2 that 110 is between. It's between 104, right, and 112. Yes? So that means it's between the 13 times 8, which is 104. And the 14 times 8, which is 112. So we know that 110 is between those two numbers, 104 and 112. So that means to us that 110 divided by 8 will be between 13 and 14. Okay? 110 is closest to which one? 14. 112. It's only 2 away from 112, and it is 6 away from 104. So that means that 110 divided by 8 is about... No, which one is it closer to? 14. You're not going to use the larger number when you're finding out the answer. Remember we talked about how a division problem, the highest number you have will always be first. So you must be looking for a smaller 
number. So if you would have written down 112, is that correct? No, that'd be like saying 110 divided by 8 is 112. Does that make any sense? No, you're using the 112 to find which one it is closer to, and then you're going to pick the counting number. So guys, you will always write the counting number down. Does everybody hear me say that? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to try to write 112 down, and you will be wrong. So we have about how many boxes? 14. 14. 14. Okay. All right, down here at the bottom, we are going to list some more multiples. So we're going to list the next eight. So they gave us two. We're going to list eight more. Are you ready to count by tens? So they started with 10 and 20. My next number? Okay, keep going. Put a comma between, please. multiples of 10, you get there a whole lot faster. 
you had to do six multiples here, and you haven't even gotten close to 196, right? Here, I only had to do five total, and I found what I needed. Does that make sense? Okay, again, I want you to make sure you do not write these numbers when you're telling me the answers, because these are not my answers. These are what I'm doing together. Does that make sense? All right, let's find out if you were paying attention there on the front page of this one. Number one down here in the Sharon Show. Read it with me. A restaurant has 68 chairs. There are six chairs at each table. About how many chairs are in the restaurant? Did you hear what it asked for? How many tables? Some of you, when you read that, you read chairs. Make sure you know what it's asking. Here's your question. About how many tables are in the restaurant? You need to know the number of chairs, which was 68, as well as how many are at each table, which is six. Now, again, just because the six is not written in digits does not mean it's not important. <coughs> so, their problem is 68 divided by six, and again, you're going to estimate. We're going to think about what number times six is about 68. Eight. Now, they're telling you where to start. Do you see that? And the reason they didn't start with 6 times 1 is because if I do 6 times 1, what do I get? 6. See how far away that is from 68? So they started at 10 instead. Doesn't that make a lot more sense? Mm -hmm. I don't have to do as much work. Okay, so they started us out at 10 times 6. So they are using... Um, the sixes. Here we go. Ten times six is? Sixty. Sixty. Eleven times six? Sixty-six. That's where your multiplication problems come in. Twelve times six? Sixty-two. So let's look at the question now here, or the statement. Sixty-eight is closest to? Eleven. I mean, sixty-six. Thank you. Sixty-six. So that means the best estimate is about how many tables? You did exactly what I asked you not to do. Is 66 the number we're using when we're talking about the estimate? So what is 66 when you did this? What's the amount of tables? 11. Do you see that you have to look at this whole entire problem that is closest to, and you're not going to use the answer you found. You're going to use what you multiplied by. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Because this is the very first problem we had to do on our own, and we did not put the right answer. It's not the 66. It is the 11. So it will take 11 tables in the restaurant. Yes? Thank you. Turn the page again. Now, here you're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to find these, the numbers that the quotient is between. And then you're going to tell me the estimate of the quotient. Now, you need to decide, am I going to use my counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever they're using, or am I going to use multiples of 10 to get there faster? Not always. It depends on what you're using to divide. Look at the problem number 2. Okay. Are you all there? Yes. 41 divided by... Three. So you need to think about in your group here for a second, am I going to use counting numbers, which means am I going to use the threes because that's what I'm dividing by, or am I going to use multiples of ten for something like this? Talk in your group. Yes. 